guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Kathy here on Kathy's World. Thanks for joining me today. Today we're doing something a little bit different and it is going to be about books, one of my favorite things. So I've always wanted to make books come to life in some way in my reality, in my world. So I thought about taking little trips, but now with COVID, that can tend to be an impossibility or difficult at best. So what I decided to do today was to make it pretty simple and bring something out of the book in some way to my life. And I'm going to call it Books and Bev's Beverages and More. We're going to start with my favorite book of the five that I recently read. And it is The Southern Book Club's Guide to Slain Vampires. So you think, how could you bring that into your life? What would you want to do? And I don't want to invite a vampire in. That would be absolutely horrible. There's a lot of things in this book I wouldn't want to do. I would like to be in a book club, but that's kind of impossible now. I guess you could be in a virtual one. But what I decided to do was think of a wine that maybe could relate to Dracula. And I was thinking, well, perhaps a very dark red wine. And I did find a site, and it's called Vampire Vineyards, I think. And I did put a link on my blog for you. And I will put a link to my blog in the description box. It's a really cool site. And I've got a picture which I will show you on this video, and it's also in my blog, of this cool-looking vampire bottle of wine. It says vampire on it, and it's wearing a Dracula cape. I wanted that bottle so bad. I went on their site, and I saw a grouping of three bottles I thought I would get. I thought, oh, that looks really good, and it wasn't a ton of money, but the shipping was $22, and I could buy two bottles of wine for that, so I decided to pass on that. I will look in the area to see if I can find any vampire wines in some of the wine stores here. But as of yet, I have not found any. So I thought I would go, since it's so hot outside, I went and got a, a rosé, a light rosé, in place of the vampire wine. So that I will be opening tonight at my daughter's house or having me over for dinner. I hope it's good. I have no idea. The second book, Home Before Dark. Let's go story. I mean, I could go to a haunted house, but most of them are closed if there are even any near here that we know of because of COVID. So I can't do that. I guess I could watch a ghost story. But what I decided to do in the story itself, when they go back to the house, which they had fled from decades before, they find some old pictures. So I decided to look at some old pictures and see what kind of memories they brought to me. And I reached into an old box of pictures I have that I need to do something with and pulled out a few. This is me when I was a little girl. This is in 1958, so I was around one year old, maybe close to two. And I was in the living room in our house in Pennsylvania. And look at that TV, what an old TV. But I was wearing my cowgirl outfit. Also in the picture, you can see an old phone on top of the TV. And I don't remember this time, but I think it's cool to look at the old pictures. The next one is me and my mom. I miss my mom. My mom was a sweetheart. She did not have it easy. Her marriage was not the best. She was not treated all that well. But through it all, we always knew mom loved us. And she always found a way to help others. She was on the board of this group that helped mentally handicapped people. Because I have a brother with Down syndrome. I remember going with her on many occasions to collect money for the American Heart Association. Mom always wanted to help people. If there was an angel on earth, it was my mom. And I know, I have no doubt, that she's in heaven right now. And I can't wait to see her again. Love you, Mom. Then another picture. This is me when I was a little girl. There's no date on here, so I don't know when it is. But I was with my brother, Bruce, who has Down syndrome. And... Bruce was a doll baby. He was one of the loves of my life. I adored Bruce. He passed away. Has it been two years now? I've lost track already, but Bruce is gone, and I love Bruce too. Love you, Bruce. So that's some of my old photos. I need to go through the rest of them too. The next book is A Wrinkle in Time. I found a site, which is on my blog, and if you go to it, I think it's called Food and Fiction or Fiction and Food. And it appears that this person that's putting this blog together, they find the foods that were in the book and they let you know about them and do a blog post on them. So what I decided to do, looking at their blog, here's the book, I decided to make the Meg Murray sandwich. It's a tomato sandwich. The tomatoes are sliced thick. Unfortunately, I didn't find beautiful tomatoes. But I put tomatoes on there. It's supposed to have lettuce on it. I forgot to get the lettuce. It does have onion salt on it, which she says to put on it. 
mayonnaise, or I think she put an option of cream cheese, which I've never had on a tomato sandwich, but that could be good. Salt, pepper, I think that's it. So I have made my, I have made Meg Murray's sandwich, so I'll look forward to eating that later. The Summer of 69, wasn't that crazy about the book, but I did find a site that talks about things that were popular in, in the summer of 69, 1969. And they do mention a lot of different foods that were popular during that time. They also mention events that were happening during that time. They also mention TV shows that were popular, and one of those was Bonanza. I used to really like Bonanza. I remember watching that with my dad. And it must have been around 69. I don't know, I don't know when Bonanza aired and how long it aired. But of the two brothers at the time, we had Hoss, H-O-S-S, -S, and Little Joe. Little Joe was the cutie, but Hoss was the one I was in love with. He was so kind to animals, to people, and I had a crush on him. My brother Bruce, the one with Down syndrome, he would tease me all the time that Hoss was my boyfriend, and I would always agree that he was. Later on in life, when Michael Landon went on to star in Little House on the Prairie, he then became my boyfriend. <laughs> so that was fun. The last one is Midnight at the Blackbird Cafe. And in the Blackbird Cafe, they served all types of food and drink, and it was just a great place to go. I didn't feel like baking, so I went to Wegmans today and I picked up this cute little tart. It's got lots of fruit on it. It looks like maybe a graham cracker crust, and I'm hoping like a cheesecake filling. We'll find out. I can't wait to taste it. And that is it on my books and bevs for this set of books. I can't wait to read my next set of books and come up with some things to make the books become reality. All right, you guys take care. Thanks for joining me, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.